delight of, of the paintings hanging on the wall, and I hope you share that. I can see a lot of loyal people here today, and I know over the coming months, hopefully, more people will be seeing the work. There are leaflets for you to take away. There's a book for you to write some comments. But more than that, I'm going to give the floor to Roy now. We'll talk a little bit about how he works and uh, produces this fabulous exhibition. Hi, hello everybody. Uh, <coughs> thank you all for coming. Uh, I always say that. I'm always grateful to be here. Yeah. One of the things that always intrigues me about putting work up, first of all, this is the very first time I have to tell you that I've seen my work in a big space. Normally I'm showing it in the gallery like the Nelson or wherever it is, and even when I was showing the soccer the gallery there, it was small, but it wasn't that big. Um, and you can see some of the pictures I do, I don't do so many that size now, but uh, are quite big. But to be able to have the space to see them in between is a bit of a revelation, in a way. You'll notice if you've been around yet and seen most of them on this thing as being done in Suffolk. Or sometimes over the edge into Essex, if you wonder. Um, and there's even one there from Norfolk. Uh, but that's the area that I frequented for 30 years. The more I went, the more it sort of, it, it started, yeah, it's like, I don't know, it must be like alcohol, but they all drink it more like it. Um, it, was, it, was, it, it just entered into the love stream, into the, the whole physical being of myself. And I loved it. And I used to walk around looking at it all sort of, all wonderful and glassy eyes. And well, when I began to examine why I liked it, it was A, it was a, a totally new landscape for me. I mean, all, I've always been a, a sort of London boy. West, I, I lived in Richmond, was born up there, that area, moved from there to Harrington, and we lived up in this um, So it was always that. So the only thing I ever had in the world was sort of Richmond Park, which I love, and the river. Uh, I, I come home, and I, I sort of draw what I'd see, I think those are photographs, obviously, but the, the thing about that for me is I never work from photographs, I never do it. I take those, but I never actually paint from a photograph. Um, so what happened was gradually going to go and do more and more, and every time I went up specifically to draw. So I'm going to look for places I knew it and found, and the bleaker it was, the better, as far as I was concerned. So you can go up there one day, and if you're lucky, you walk and drive up to here. If you're lucky another day, you go there and it's coming out. So they are these in lumps and lumps um, and little waterways running through it. It's, it's fascinating. And the light is always good. This here is, some of you might know, I don't know, but do you know anybody here know the fisheries on the way to uh, Ordnum? Ordnum, yeah. yeah. Oh, the big the fish. Yeah. Uh, there's a pump on the fisheries opposite. That's it. And it's, I used to go out there quite a lot, and I did quite a lot of paintings there, especially in that time of the year in the autumn. And again, the light has always seemed to be good. This here is looks a bit like those. That, I was just telling you something, that's the, anybody know the Astrodrome at Britain? Yes. 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 That's yes. it. Oh, wow. On a bad day. Yeah. Uh, on a good day. <laughs> uh, you know, it's a combination of what is there, and it, I, it, it, but I don't suppose it's ever been like that. <laughs> what life is, but, you know, but it's, it's, it's about mood and about what I've seen and what I feel and so on. Somebody said to me today, you, know, you pay what you feel, and I said, yes, I do. And I think there are two things about painting for me. One is um, the feeling of the place. Uh, and the other thing is memory. I was reading about Custer, a great Custer fan, and he used to, of course, all those very big paintings he did of the, the Hayway and the really those six six footers, he did in London. He did in Hampstead and various places in around um, London. All based because he was a Suffolk lad, he, he'd always ingrained in his, in his being the, the, the whole place and, and he said every sort of grain of rotten wood and stuff is, is what he paints, what he feels. 
Anyway, thank you very much for, as I said before, for coming.